Hello guys, in today's video we are going to see what the image from this camera will be like if we use a DSLR lens. So I got this cheap webcam on one of the usual sites like AliExpress or Banggood or some of them websites. It was about, I think, 15 euros, something like that. And it's, you know, it's 1080p, just simple USB webcam, nothing special about it. And I just wondered what would happen if we changed the optics in this, which I presume are pretty rubbish, with a proper lens. Would we get any clearer of a picture? Would we be able to focus it in a little better? I doubt it really, but what really limits the image quality is the sensor, and I expect this sensor is not going to be very big. But I thought it'd be interesting just to see what it would look like if we put a, a proper uh, lens on it. So before we do any modifications, I'll do a little recording with this camera, just so that we have a sort of a base image to compare to when we do our modifications. Now, I know it's difficult to tell with the human eye, but in fact, the image on the right is the DSLR and the image on the left is actually the cheap webcam. So we'll take a look inside this camera and see what it looks like. I'll just plug it out first. Don't get in, that's it. You can probably can we squeeze the front cover off. There we go, that's that off. So inside we have a little PCB with our, I presume our sensor is under this plastic. Just take this bit of foam out of our way maybe. So this is actually the lens that uh, comes with the camera. So that is the equivalent of the lens while well, you're actually watching through the DSLR at the minute. So can't really show you the lens but this is basically the equivalent of that so it's a little screw thing so we can adjust it so if you wanted to set the focus which I presume is what they do in the factory they screw this until the the image is correct so if we screw that off we should see the sensor there is the sensor on the PCB so that little rectangle in the middle there, that's the sensor. And that's what senses the light and converts it into the image. There's not much to it, but look at things. I guess there must be a chip on that PCB somewhere that can well, convert the image, convert the microphone information and send it back on the USB. Then you have your ring of LEDs on the white PCB. And this up here, a little bit of copper tape, that's going to be your capacitive sensor. So when you touch there, you change the signal because your body becomes part of the uh, capacitive circuit. And uh, it can sense that, the little chip can sense that. And that just changes the light. It's plugged out at the minute so nothing's happening. So just to show you that light again, you kind of tap the top here somewhere. And you have three brightnesses, so max. And then the more you tap it, the dimmer it goes. So just to put this into perspective, here is our webcam sensor. And here's the DSLR one. So you can see it's massively bigger than this one. And that's why cameras like this can take such a higher quality image. You're able to sense that much more light in that much more detail than this tiny little sensor. So while I think we will get an image from our our lens here, I would expect it's still going to be really bad. It's probably going to be the same as the image that come with the little lens that was on it. But I, I think it'll be interesting just to see. I had a few minor miscalculations with our 3D print. So the sensor ended up a little bit too far away from the lens. So our image... It was coming out pretty blurry we had no way of really focusing it so between the pcb here and the mounting post i just have a few little uh, pieces that i 3d printed for something else and it just happened to be good enough that i can get a screw in there and just bring the sensor a little bit closer to the lens that we're trying to use and then we have our 3d printed part which has 
the little keys in it so that we can put the lens in and twist it to sort of lock it in place I forgot to account for the post here so we'll just knock that out but other than that it's about as good as we could hope for such a quick little test just to see what it looks like I've swapped to my phone now just so you can see this is our DSLR lens we need to line up the correct orientation there we go and then we can just twist to get the lens to stay in place so that is all we want now our lens here is going to focus the image the light reflected from the image really down onto our sensor that's in here it's a much smaller sensor than we've been using on the DSLR so we should get an image I don't expect it's going to be very good but uh, it'll be just interesting to see if it's any way improved by using a proper lens a, a good quality lens as opposed to the little thing that you get on the uh, camera itself I guess the uh, webcam okay so on the left again we have the original image and on the right we have the webcam through the DSLR lens the image quality itself it obviously hasn't improved the main difference is that the image on the left the webcam is probably as far away from the target as it would have been with the DSLR but the webcam using the DSLR lens which is the image on the right is probably a meter to a meter and a half away from the target is really far back so we've added a massive zoom to the camera but certainly it hasn't improved the image quality and that's all down to the sensor the sensor is what makes the camera a good quality camera so there you have it putting a good quality lens on a cheap camera is not going to give you a good camera the issue is the size of the sensor probably the quality of the sensor as well the cheap camera is just going to have a very small sensor it's not going to be able to utilize the quality of the image that's coming through the good quality lens so that was probably a pointless little experiment but i just wanted to see if it would even work if we could actually get an image to appear through our webcam sensor when we used the big lens but it actually worked okay our image was probably as clear as the webcam one i mean we had a little bit of adjustment on the bigger lens so we could probably focus it in a little bit better but it's probably as good as you're realistically going to get with that sensor so that's that i guess the moral of the story is just buy a good quality camera if you want a good quality camera so hope you liked that little video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you did and to get subscribed and as always thanks very much for watching thanks very much for watching guys if you liked the video please hit the like button and if you don't want to miss out on the next video click the subscribe button below and get the bell on for notifications a big thanks to all our patrons sponsors and you guys buying the pcbs for your own projects that all helps to support the channel and keep the content coming and speaking of content there should be links on the screen now to a few more videos if you want to keep watching and if you go to the channel homepage you'll see that there are plenty of playlists there to check out but that's all i have for today so i'll see you in the next video